while, I completed a biblical series devoted to Genesis in fall of 2017, and that has proved very popular. I, I, it's a strange word to use for a lecture series like that. Um, I'm going to start working on the next book in the Old Testament, which is Exodus, but in that will take a while. But in the interim, I think I'm going to produce videos devoted to Proverbs, the book of wisdom, essentially, or a book of wisdom. Um, you've all heard, no doubt, that wisdom is proverbial, or, is that, or that there's such a thing as proverbial wisdom, and that phrase stems from the book of Proverbs, which are single-sentence aphorisms imparting some truth. I think the analysis of those, which can be done in a relatively short period of time, will prove of benefit to me and perhaps to those who are inclined to watch or listen to my analysis. As some of you may know, Jordan Peterson has been off social media for a while. He's gone through a very difficult health issue. Um, he nearly didn't make it. And he's back. He just came back on YouTube two days ago and he's speaking about the work that he wants to continue to do with the Bible, with Exodus, with Proverbs. He mentioned God's mercy and this got me thinking about how faith helps during difficult times and faithlessness, atheism, nihilism. These meaningless paradigms gives you nothing to look forward to, nothing to grab onto, nothing at all but a cold, reductive, materialistic, naturalistic worldview, which, if you really take it to its logical end, its logical conclusion, what's the point of carrying on? What's the point of going through all this suffering and these trials and these difficulties? So anyway, it was good to see Jordan back on social media. And um, I wanted to link his return back to a lesson that we should all take. Rather than waiting for a calamity to hit, it's better to conceptually, mentally put yourself in that state and feel it within your DNA, feel it within your bones, rather than wait for that to actually happen. I mean, it's better to be a farmer Sorry, it's better to be a warrior in a farm than it is to be a farmer in a in in battle. It's better to have an. It's better to be ready for an opportunity, and the opportunity doesn't come, than for an opportunity to come and you're not ready. I mean, it, to be honest, that's not even probably the best description because it's not about an opportunity. We all are going to face eventual death and demise and. Um, health issues and, and difficulties and trials and so it's better to turn to God to return to God to think about the purpose of life and how this life does actually have a meaning and there is a purpose and there is a creator and there is that one goal that one thing that we need to focus on which is what is the best way to live in order for us to be successful in the hereafter. And I want to leave a verse of the Quran, leave you with a verse of the Quran to think about. God says in the Quran, every soul shall taste death. We test you with good and evil as trial, and to us is your return. Eventually we will go back to God. And if we are people who have singled out God for worship, who love and trust and have faith in God, we have nothing to fear about and nothing to grieve about. However, if we are of the others, those who associate partners with God, or those who deny God altogether, then this short life is suffering, and then the next life is eternal suffering. Conversely, for the people who put their belief and their trust in God, this life, even though through the difficulties and the trials and the tribulations, there is still contentment, there is still peace, there is still something we have to hold on to. And as God says in the Quran, 
in the remembrance of God do, uh, do hearts find rest. So even amongst the difficulties and the trials and the chaos and the, uh, the madness that goes on, there is a method to the madness, there is a way out of this, and it's by holding on to the Creator, it's by holding on to the faith and our trust and our love in our Creator. So anyway, I thought I'd leave you guys with some of these thoughts and uh, hopefully we can have some meaningful conversations with atheists about this topic because I think this is something that they very much neglect. Anyways, I'm not going to make this a long video. I wanted to tell you that I'm back in Toronto, that I'm in much better health, although it's still severely impaired, especially in the morning. Um, but I can work again and I really want to. Um, and that to let you know that with God's grace and mercy, um, I'll be able to start generating original material once again and pick up where I left off. Um, thank you very much. And well, thank you very much is probably sufficient. Bye-bye.